Angus Glen Golf Club is made of uh, 36 championship holes. We've got our south course, the original 18, and our uh, north course, which came into play in 2002. We've held uh, um, the Canadian Open on both golf courses. The north course, uh, when it was built, we had the Skins game and the LPGA there. And then the south course, most, more recently, uh, the Pan Am Games, we hosted in 2015. A couple of the uh, major changes we did for the Pan Am Games to the golf course was on holes 3, 11, and 15. We added um, some much needed water on the golf course on the south, but also we did make it a little bit more challenging where it, it's, you've got to shape your shots a little bit. Um, for instance, on number three um, from the blue tee deck, it's about a 400 yard par four. Before the changes, you could just hit your driver as hard and as far as you can and you'd have a little wedge in. Now you've got to be a little bit more selective off the tee, hitting uh, um, mid to long iron, and then you've got a longer uh, second shot. Number 11 was uh, very similar of, you know, just being wide open and just being able to hit a shot off the tee pretty much anywhere and then having a second shot. Now you've got to be a little bit more selective and then your second shot, um, you've got to carry at least uh, 40, 50 yards um, over water. So it's a little bit more intimidating. And then uh, number 15 used to be a short par four, which used to be drivable without any uh, hazards or any, uh, um, any trouble really. And by putting a pond just to the left of the green there, um, again, it is a risk-reward hole now. It's still go for the green, um, but comes with uh, the water comes into play. With the changes, we've made those three holes a lot more challenging, and for more skilled golfers, um, you know, just to think your way through the golf course a little more. Uh, when you're on the south course, you can also look for some fun tee shots. Hole number seven, um, the par five. No matter what your skill level is, I would suggest teeing up from at least the blue tees on top of the tee deck. And from number nine, you've got that nice uh, the, the clubhouse in the background that you're hitting your. Uh, your post shots into. With COVID, um, nothing good pretty much came out of it. And if there's anything that was good, it was pretty much a golf industry. You know, it's a huge boom in, in new golfers. You know, new golfers, um, and, and again, this is no, no fault to their own, but you know, not knowing the proper kind of etiquettes of the, of the game, you know, fixing ball marks, um, fixing divots, um, not driving your cart on the greens. But again, it is, you know, once or twice, or even speaking to a golf pro just to kind of get the, uh, the 101 of golf. Um, and then what we found is, you know, once they're out there, they're hooked.